Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our blind. Let's play of Grandia 2 HD Collection for the Switch. I'm the Flightless Bird, and this is your story-based gaming channel. And we're at Murmu Village, I think it's called. Uh, we just came off of a, uh, a blimp crash, or whatever that was. Some sort of crash landing. Made our way through the forest. Met a strange girl. And now, well, here we are. There is a certain sadness about this village. I wonder as, it's a, as to its source. Oh, the sister has arrived. I'm so glad. Now the village is saved. Chief, Chief, the sister has arrived. She's here. Are they speaking to me? Huh? Uh, what's going on here? So you finally come. Our village, please, I beg of you, save us. Uh, you've lost me, Chief. I don't think any of us is put in for uh, weekend reservations here. Huh? Wait, so you haven't come to save this village? Our journey is the greatest cathedral. We are merely passing through, but... So you haven't come to save this village. I thought for sure they'd be here by now. What does this mean for us? Uh, good question. What's going on here? Uh, these things should be spoken of in this place. Please, come to my home. Cool music. I like it. You see, strange things have been happening here in this village. Villagers have been suddenly falling asleep. At first, we thought it was just fatigue. But they keep sleeping. Days and days at a time. And you do not believe that they are merely unwell. Well, first we had a village where everyone lost their taste. And now we have a village where everyone's falling asleep. This sounds like another Valmar incident. I wish it was so, but they're not. To be blunt, I believe it is some kind of curse. A curse? What leads you to believe this? Uh, the dreams. Ever since falling asleep, all of the villagers keep having the same dream. A presence watching, waiting. Its eyes, great and terrible, terrifying. Curse. Right. We have no solid proof, yet we could not bear the dread of it. We said to the cathedral for aid. Ah, uh, so that is why you thought Sister Lena was here to save you? Yes, that's exactly so. Well, it's a dang shame, but like we said, we're just passing through. But, 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 m m may I ask you one thing of you? Ah, uh, what is it? Um, will you please stay here for just one day? The priestess from the cathedral should be here soon. I don't expect you to take her place, but if your sister stays here, the curse may be somewhat allayed. Another one fell asleep today. We are all uneasy. Review, though. Yeah, yeah, princess, I know what you're gonna say. Well, I guess it is dark out. Thank you, Ryoto. We shall do as you ask. It is not much, but we'd be happy to stay in the village. Time to talk to people. By the way, how are we doing as far as uh, power-ups go? Uh, not too good. Now, I do think, I, I had an idea, and that is, this has a cancel effect. These are do damage. When it comes to bosses, getting that quick cancel is very helpful. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to prioritize these cancel effects uh, for our characters. That way we have a quick cancel on a boss. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this once because that's all I can do. Um, What about magic? You know, one other thing I thought of is this is fire. And when we look at our book of wizards, this is fire. That says fire too. Uh, so if we get some good explosion magic, we can of course, you know, swap this out for different things. Should I get more magic power or better spells? Huh. 
It's a good question. I'm not really sure. I wish I knew how to get these. Oh, oh wait. Drop action with the cooling cold. Okay. I, I wish I knew how to get these uh, other things up. Maybe just kind of put points into some skills. Oh, look. Zap all. Ha ha ha. Burns all enemies. Definitely want to improve this because that's amazing. Mm, what else? Uh, burn flame. Maybe get that a little bit stronger. Because burn flame is very useful. Zap ball is very powerful, but burn flame is a cheaper cost. It's only 16 compared to 36. And it does a pretty good amount of damage. Um... Probably increase our heal as well. Okay. I, I think I'm devoted to this egg because this egg is so powerful as far as offensive magic goes. And we just don't have anything like it. Oh, let's talk to people. They're just staying asleep. Nicholas was the first one to collapse. He's been sleeping for five days now. Uh, I do not think of they have caught any sort of disease here. Although everyone here assumes it's a curse. Either way, it's more than we can handle on our own. The pieces better get here quickly. The good thing about this game is, even if we spent those magic points incorrectly, all we have to do is grind for more magic points and we get more. So it's not like, you know, we have to really choose. It just takes time. And I'm okay with time. Life has been hard in this village. And now this. We don't even know what the cause. I wonder if these rumors are true. Rumors? What rumors? What? Someone think they got this all figured out? No, not at all. It's just that with everyone worried about a curse, rumors have started flying. One misfortune did start this, and we've been having crop fillies for years, and lately we've had fewer sunny days. So I guess it's good if the priestess gets here as soon and does something about it. May Grannis help us. Uh, sister, get to the inn. Head to the village gate. It'll be on your left. Thank you. You're most kind. Oh, no. Not at all. In fact, I should be thanking you. I've been asking so much of you. To get to the inn, head to the village gate. It'll be on your left. Please. Please enjoy a nice rest. We still live in peace, despite the poor soil. We lived without trouble. Why? Why have we been made to suffer like this? The question you ask cannot be answered by us. You must seek the answer among those around you and from within yourself. First it was our son Nicholas. Then, who was it that collapsed next? I can't even remember. Now, before we do that, let's uh go talk to some people, shall we? Where is the inn? It's that way. So let's go not that way. Although I'll talk to these people first. She just sleeps, never opens her eyes. She talks in her sleep, but it's just fairy tale stuff. Do you find it strange? Whatever I think it is, it's sure not natural. That's why I told the village chief. Someone has been in pretty curses on people here. How can you be certain that someone is, in fact, laying curses here? You lack proof, yet you dang those around you. Why have people been accursed? It's starting to sound like Ira. I hmm. Why accuse people of this when there's no solid proof? Ira asked me the same thing. Ira? I'm sorry. What was this voice again? Ira. No. Ira. 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 See, now I've been doing Merrick's voice with that growl. I, I forgot the deep voice of uh, Sky. Ira. Sandra's daughter, a very nice girl. She was very upset to see people quarreling. I hate to see a sad face of that sweet girl, but... Even though people have collapsed one after another, Sandra's not willing to help take care of them. Not only will she not... Not only that, she won't let Ira get out of our house for fear she'll catch the disease. What a mess. Yeah, and you know that Ira would gladly come help us yourself at such a time like this. Good grief. I wonder if Ira is a new playable character. Ira, you mean that real cute kid? That kid's got such a great smile. Well, look, I'll just about cure whatever ails ya. Great. Another village full of simpletons. Come on, kid. There's no need for insults. Let's me say that I enjoy seeing that girl smile from ear to ear. Oh, that's nice. The Day of Darkness and the Legends. It must be something like this, eh? Maybe it has arrived early for this village. Nonsense. As long as Lord Grannis exists, the Day of Darkness will never come to pass. Well, then what do you call this curse? Well, I, uh... Three people have fallen already and we don't know the reason does this sort of thing ever happen this is the first time that something like this has happened here i'm afraid this is the end great so village full of people who think like you do no wonder you're all in trouble 
Barrel. All right. To Marumu House, to Villager Chouse. Okay. I haven't seen Ivory recently. With all this fuss about a curse, I wonder if she's not allowed outside. When she's not around, it's like a flame that's gone out in this village. It makes me feel kind of lonely. Children, as energetic as they may be, can cheer and soothe those around them. It is the single power they hold over adults. Hey, that's not the only thing that makes this bunch all starry-eyed. All the villagers seem so short-tempered. After such a string of unhappy events, I guess everyone's forgotten how to smile. It's like Iris said, if only everyone would learn to smile at each other. If only, eh? You talk as though it's not even possible. Right. No one can manage to smile now. Everyone is suffering. And to top it off, there's that curse. Let's check out the first house. Sister, if you don't mind me asking, do you think what's happening in this village are really omens of the Day of Darkness? Huh? What makes you think that? First we had a string crop failures. Now we have this awful curse in the village. I doubt they're all just coincidences. I have faith in Lord Grannis. I've also been to Grannis Cathedral and heard the sermons. I wondered if these misfortunes are omens of the Day of Darkness. My friend Nicholas, he just sleeps and doesn't wake up. But the village sheep has not concluded that there is a curse. Then it's got something to do with the Day of Darkness that my dad has been telling me about. Hey, aren't you afraid of this curse? If I become like Nicholas, will I have to stay inside all the time? I think it will be fine. I hear that there will be some people arriving shortly that w will rid the village of its curse. Yes, the high priestess from the cathedral will be arriving soon to help this village. Let's hope so, at least. Ah, uh, who are we kidding? It's an RPG. We're gonna have to get rid of this curse. Yeah, uh, Ira. Yep. Talk to her already. Murmur House 2. We haven't been here. These chairs are amazing. They're like conch shells. That is so cool. Oh, and you hear the fire? Oh, that's so neat. So over here, you don't hear the fire. And over here, you do. That's so cool. My husband, he'd already been pretty sick for a while, but he's been much worse since the curse started. Does he fear the curse? Fear weakens the spirit and does the body follows. I suppose you could be right, but I think the main reason is that Ira has not come to visit him. Ira would bring him some medicinal herbs and it always made him feel much better. Huh? The girl would bring him some herbs that helped them out? Well, I'm not sure that it's the herbs that did it or just Ira being there. He really loves the sweet smile. Ira this, Ira that. Everyone's talking about Ira. Oh, it's just you young folk. <coughs> I wonder who came here. What a disappointment. <laughs> Great. Look, old man. We didn't exactly want to come to this village. Much less hear you hack up a lung. You though. I am terribly sorry, sir. I hope that Ira will arrive soon. Oh, the dots. Uh, they ain't got nothing to do with you. <coughs> mean old Sandra. Why won't? Why don't you let the girl out of the house? Why won't she let me see the child? Oh, now I get it. She's trying to make me feel bad. That's why she won't let Ira out of the house. Why, that woman. Yeah, Ira seems to be the real popular one. Uh, where have we been and where have we not been? I don't know what's causing it. I can't tell if it's a disease or curse. There's nothing I can do to treat it. I wish someone could do something. If anything happened to my wife and daughter, oh, I don't know what I would do. You must remain calm. If you panic, that panic will spread to your wife and daughter as well. Maybe it's some kind of flu epidemic. I'm making my daughter stay in the house, even though she tr cries and wants to play. She goes to sleep like Nicholas over at Irina's place. I'll be afraid. I'll be. So, I'll be so afraid I won't even sleep at night. How awful that a child must be stuck inside the home. Poor thing. I don't know what's causing it. Yep. Ira's not coming, is she? None of the kids are allowed outside because everyone's afraid they'll get sick. No, other children are allowed outside. That must make it all very hard on Ira. She sits lonesome, devoid of companionship. Does everyone else come here to play? Yes, until recently, everyone heard Ira talking about flowers. Ira's not coming. I guess she can't come outside just like everyone else. That's so sad. Oh, I see a save point way over there. 
Ah, that's interesting. Daddy says I can't go outside even though I'm not sick anymore and I want to go out and play. I'm bored. Hmm. You are still recovering, right? Listen to your father. It is better for you to remain indoors. But I made a promise to Ira. We said we played together after I got better. I've been waiting. I thought that was Ira. But nope, it's not. Even though I'm better now, I had to stay inside. How boring. I want to play outside with Ira. Are, are you a songstress of Granis? Right here in this little village? Oh, it's such an honor to meet you. I've only heard this song like once more, sung once when I visited St. Hein Papal State. Anyway, are you here to save our village? Well, no actually, I I'm not the high priestess that everyone's waiting for. I'm just a traveler who happened by. I've already told the village chief, the high priestess can remove the curse. We should definitely summon her. Yeah, well, the church will handle this, I'm sure. I like to meddle in everything anyway. I'm sure they'll be here soon. There's little we can do for our own about this, but the High Priestess still hasn't. Please, do not get discouraged. We are not from the St. High Papal State. I'm sure she will arrive shortly. Hmm. Like, I'm almost positive this is another aspect of Valmar. Town Hall. Even though people have collapsed one after another, Sandra is not willing to help take care of them. Not only that, she won't let Ira out of the house for fear she will catch the disease. Yeah, I think we've talked to that person. Hello. Heh, <laughs> heh. Flowers, flowers, nice. <laughs> Given the circumstance, they seem to have pleasant dreams. I would not have expected that. That sounded exactly like the girl that we saw in that forest area. I mean, he's talking about dreams of flowers. Kind of feels right. Yeah, but if they sleep too long, then the muscles begin to atrophy. And soon, well, it gets really ugly, trust me. Please wake up. Please wake up. Oh, how did this happen? Ah, excuse us. Are all the people here that are sleeping, none of them can be woken up? Right. All the people have collapsed are being brought here. Are you with the High Priestess? No, we are not. We're just travelers who happen by. Is there anything we can do to help? <laughs> yes, this place is so fun. They have such happy expressions on their faces as they sleep. Yeah, but their sleep talking board is a little bit of a strange side. Sure looks like some kind of curse to me. All right, so here's my theory. My theory is that one of our party members is going to get afflicted with the curse, and we're going to have to save them by fixing whatever problem is in this village. Oh, sister, it's my husband. Please help my husband. He just sleeps, so opens his eyes. I do not know if I can be of any assistance. I'll stop by later and see what I can do. Is that acceptable, Viudo? Well, even if I say no, you'll just better way over there, won't you? So, where's your husband? Oh, he's sleeping in the town hall. I really should be taking care of him, but the sight of him is so distressing. We've already been there. We've already seen him. Let's go to the general store. Hello, Mr. Question Hat. Anything new? Nope. Let's check out the items then. Uh, I don't think we really need this sword right now. Actually, we do. Plus 12 attack. Definitely. How about the orc? Uh, we found one of those. We could get this, but I don't know when we'll get Melania again. I mean, she's more of a magician type, anyway. Um, that would be good for him. And that's plus 10 attack, so we'll definitely get that. Sleep and confusion resistance. I'm all for that, but I'm worried that she's going to be whisked away by Melania. Uh, what else can we get? What would be good? Feathered hat looks good. Swordfish armor looks... 10 plus 10. Plus 7. And cheaper. Alright, I'll go ahead and gather that. I don't feel like we need to get armor as much for Merrick because he's already got such a high armor class. Oh, uh, it's tough. We may need to grind a little bit more. You know, get some more money, some more XP. Wouldn't hurt, especially if you're on hard. When you're playing on hard, you kind of have to do those things. Could you be the sister? Oh, we've been waiting for you. Oh, it's Arena. 
My son Nicholas does not wake up. Please, do what you can to save him. Um, unfortunately, we are simple travelers. We are not the ones you are expecting. Oh, I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake. If you have contact with the cathedral, I'm certain that someone will arrive soon. Please, wait a little longer. Yes, I suppose you are right. But, but, you say that your son has fallen ill? Sister, perhaps if you look at him, you might be able to learn something. Would you mind coming this way, please? Is this the curse they were talking about? It appears to be so. This is Nicholas. He seems to be sleeping peacefully, but he never wakes up. It is so much fun here. It doesn't sound sick. Maybe it's just entertained. Whee! That's not... Yeah. Yeah, that's not cool. Is this just... Is this not just like Gaiden? That's exactly what I've been saying. You're saying Valmar destroyed his soul? Smell that. Yet. There is no foul smell about this place. Unfortunately, I cannot help you at all. That innocent face. Maybe he's playing with the fairies in the Garden of Dreams. Garden of Dreams? The place we passed through? I mean, uh, before arriving here, we came upon a garden filled with fairies. You can't be serious. It's a tale told to children full of song and fancy. Meaning nothing. It's a fantasy. No, it was definitely real. Flowers everywhere and fairies fitting about? I couldn't dream this up, believe me. There was a little girl. A strange girl. Who could see everything? She had a scar above her right eye. That's Ira, Sandra's daughter. Oh, how eerie. So his curse was the work of Sandra after all. That's why no one could see Ira, because Ira was the girl that was in the forest. Ah. Please, do not be so quick to jump to conclusions. Is Sandra from this village? She lives in back of the village. How could that hateful wretch do this to my poor, sweet Nicholas? Wow. Jump to conclusions much? I mean, do you have a heart? Yeah, she's just upset. Weirdo, if that girl were indeed Ira, I would like to speak with her again. Huh? I keep thinking about what she said. Don't eat me? Well, you have been putting on a few pounds. You have to see it from her point of view. Oh! Don't eat me because she's another Valmar. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, stop. She was an odd little girl. And I wonder, was that garden real? As real as the dreams of a wise man. Neither fantasy nor substance. A mist rising in the morning, melting into the air by noon. We find Ira, we can ask her. Yes, we shall see. Mumble, mumble. The flower is so pretty, so warm. Dreaming of flowers? Yes. Perhaps that garden we passed through on the way in has something to do with all of this. Ah, uh, the villagers have said that other people have fallen ill. Yudo, I feel uneasy about this. We should look in on the others. Yeah, you're right. We were also told to spend a night here, right? Ah, uh, Nicholas, how could it come to this? Sandra is to blame. That witch. How could she do this to Nicholas? But you have no proof that this Sandra person did this, right? We may have no proof, but before this happened to Nicholas, that woman's daughter, Ira, her blindness, which couldn't be cured by any doctor, suddenly got better. Don't you find that strange? That witch. She did something to Nicholas. That's the only explanation. Uh, recover? That's kind of weird, uh, that there's no food. Yes, but rather than that, aren't you hungry? I'll cook the best dinner I can. Ah, uh, really? I just cannot wait. Have a walk or something while you wait. We don't have much time here, but you can relax. Watch out for Sandra and Ira. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a save. 
been a while since I saved because the uh, the Nintendo function has a great just uh, sleep mode. Although I definitely need to save in case we lose our data. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for... We haven't been this way. That girl. It is Ira. There she is. So, it was not imagination. She is real. Ira, dear? Hi, again, miss. Ira, dear. When you said don't eat me before, what did you mean? Hmm? I, I meant just what I said. I know you are okay, miss, but... Excuse the interruption. This has been bugging me. What was that garden? Uh, it's the same place. For one people, they're sad. It's not like everyone else. All hurting. I just want everyone to be happy. Ira, where have you gone? Ira! Ira, I told you not to go outside. Wow, they look so alike. You, get away from my Ira. What are you trying to do to her? Mother, she is alright. She is not bothering me. Now, now, we are travelers and we are just talking to little Ira. We would never do anything to her. I am terribly sorry if my appearance has stuttered you. No, no, there was no need. I had to assume the worst, but that one. Me? What have I done? I'm sorry. Please come inside. I cannot talk out here. Barrel. Ah, there's a cave up here. Look at what they did. Oh, those tricky little devils. Blocked it off. Save point here. We don't need to. Let's go inside. So, what's with the secrecy? Is there a reason you don't want to avoid notice? There are those who don't wish Ira well. The innkeeper's son, Nicholas, fell ill. You see, while Ira, Ira was with them, they were just playing. And then, there was a, a children's story, a fairy tale. In the tale, there is a garden. That's right. I promised to take Nicholas to the garden. Ira, don't say such things. But... Say... Let me see that medal. Ah, uh, but this is... Your mother gave it to you, right? Ah, uh, the dots? Well, yes, but... Ah. I'm so sorry. Anyway, the villagers here look at me strangely. And to think my prayers to Granis have finally been answered. And Ira's, Ira's blindness cured. I've been saying Ira so much, and now all of a sudden, I start saying Ira, Ira, and I don't know why. Ira! It's Ira! Her sight was restored through prayer? This is a miracle. For once, Elena's right. It's a dang miracle that your prayers actually worked. No wonder the villagers think you're a witch. You dull. Ira is my treasure. Her eyesight was poor since she was born, and I've had such a hard time. I looked for medicinal herbs and prayed for a sight, but the others called my mixtures witches' brews and my prayers summonings. And just when Ira is finally healed by prayer, and I'm blessed with a little happiness, they blame me for this curse. Poor woman. I am sorry. Don't get ideas, Elena. There's nothing we can do. By now, the church has probably sent some people to look into it anyway. Let them deal with it. We're not the experts here. Come on, there's a lot of ground to cover before we reach the cathedral. You are right. Come on, let's get back to the inn. Okay, Vaughn? Aww. They're making friends. Thank you. Your mother was very pretty. That, by the way, is my favorite hair color on a, on a character. I love the uh, the greenish look. 
partly because playing Final Fantasy VI growing up, uh, Tara Branford, she had that uh, greenish hair. And then it's weird because you look at pictures of her now and she suddenly is blonde. I mean, back then, like, colors were really with, with hairs. Uh, Final Fantasy IV was probably the biggest offender. You had a character like Cecil who almost had, like, rainbow hair, and yet he doesn't. Uh, Rosa has white hair, and yet she doesn't. It's so weird, uh, you know, why we couldn't get hair color straight back then. Anyway, all the exclamation marks. What's wrong? What's wrong, Ava? Ah, scary people have come, mother. Really, scary people. Scary people are coming here. Scary people? Who? Very, very scary people. Such brevity does not help me to understand this situation. And what makes these people so frightening? They're so cold. It's like their hearts are frozen. Ryudo, the child senses something amiss. We should investigate the new people in town. Yeah, you're right. Let's go check them out. Ira, what's wrong? Mommy, some scary people are here. Scary people? Really? I did not see anyone scary. Oh, Ira. Unfortunately, villagers have been spreading strange rumors about us. Now it has come to this. Mommy, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, I would be threatening you like this. Let's go find out, shall we? Hello? Hey, hurry up. We mustn't make them wait. Wait up. Hey, what's all the commotion? I heard that the priestess and the party from the cathedral have finally arrived. And they're the scary ones? What? It... It can't be. The cathedral knights. Uh-oh. Whoa! Look at those guys! Well, well. How terrible for you. But never fear, the Cathedral Knights are here. We shall dispel the darkness before your eyes. Oh, your words are most reassuring. Please do what you can. This village is full of darkness. Darkness with terrible powers. Wh what has brought this upon us? I have purified much darkness in my work so far. From my experience, this darkness is the doing of Valmar. I am not mistaken. Oh, no. Until further notice, this village shall be under the control of us. I don't like the sound of that. Knights. I don't like the sound of that at all. All shall be sealed. No one may enter or exit the village. Understood? Anyone violating my order shall be deemed a minion of darkness and purified in the name of Lord Granis. Come, my knights of Granis, take up your blades to cut down the darkness. God's light shall shine. Uh oh. I ought to have introduced myself. I am Celine, leader of the Cathedral Knights. I am pleased to meet you. Hey, Elena. You know that crazy zealot over there? Yes. She's the High Priestess Selene, leader of the Cathedral Knights. Now, High Priestess Selene is known to be an excellent inquisitor of heresy. Uh-oh. I'm afraid this town might be in for a bit of trouble. Just what are those guys planning to do here? One for a uh, witch trial. Which is strange, because we're playing Little Hope um, in our other time slot. Well, well. Are you not a sister of Granis? I was not told of a sister in this town. Oh, I am Elena, a songstress of Granis. I'm on my way to Granis Cathedral to report to His Holiness Zera. To report to His Holiness Zera? You must be a very accomplished student. I'm sure His Holiness will be pleased. Your mission must be important, as is mine, to purify the world of darkness. Let us both work to the utmost of our abilities. Y yes, the 
Thank you very much. I just don't like that. I really don't like that. Yeah, thanks. This will take care of it for sure. This will end it with no more nightmares. That priestess and the others will harvest will bless the harvest while the busy remove the curse. So you can rest easy now. Go tell your daughter that it's okay to play outside tomorrow. I humbly beseech you, O Cathedral Knights, please save our village, please, please. We are powerless to do anything. Please answer our plea for help. The only reason they are powerless is because they refuse to do anything on their own. I've never seen so many pathetic fools. I understand what you are saying, Mudo, but I really doubt there's anything that these villagers can do on their own. Is this so? Indeed. You must desire to make haste if your intent is to report to His Holiness. How awkward for you. No, in fact, the ceremony failed. Watch your words, Elena. Well, who might you be? Name's Ryudo. The sister is under my protection. I see. For your trouble, I thank you. You can thank me by letting us through this village. Oh, and these two as well. They're with us. This is not possible. Hey, cut me some slack here. We're no threat to you or your calls. I cannot. Did you not hear what I just said? This village is now sealed. Leave and be purified. Until the matter surrounding this village is resolved, no one may leave. Not Alina, not you, not anyone. Look, we need to report to your boss. Get word to him about us, and I'll make, and make I'll, I'll sure he'll permit us to make case to the cathedral. Regardless of his schedule, it is my duty to ensure that the darkness in this village is exterminated, without exception. By the blood? Even if Amos expunges the darkness, what will you do when you find it? No one can stand against a god? Worry not. We are the Cathedral Knights, blessed by Lord Granis. Discovering the allies of Valmar is a simple task, as is purifying the unclean. What is it with you in this purified thing? For some reason, I doubt the knights are picking soap and bubble bath in their armor. Ah, uh, she means to kill them. I remember one village somewhere that was burned to the ground by the Cathedral Knights. That's some strong bubble bath. No, that is not correct. Lord Grenis does not approve of mindless slaughter. The holy fire of Lord Grenis merely purifies those who have sold the soul to Valmar. We have purged darkness from this world, leaving none of its taint unpurified. Thanks be to good honest. There's that word again. I fail to see a difference between your method and murder. If you uh, were to find a person possessed by Valmar, what would you do to her or uh, him? Should that be the case, this entire village shall be purified by the holy fire of Lord Granis. Yeah, I was afraid she was going to say that. She's going to kill everyone in town. Such a sacrifice is necessary in order to rid the world of Valmar's presence. What? Y you can't do that! Don't be afraid, for the holy fire cleanses only the sinner. Those who are pure of heart need not worry. Of course, this is assuming there are persons without sin before Garnus. Ah. Well then, please tell me the details. Only then shall we seek out the apostles of Valmar. Uh, alright then. This is not good. She's gonna kill the entire village. Oh boy. Ah, uh, so what should we do now, Mr. Viodo? Ah, uh, security's too tight. Yeah, no choice but to camp here tonight. We'll be left alone for now. Elena's company protects us from suspicion. 
So far, how long? I can't say. <laughs> All the dots. Uh, excuse me, I tired of just standing there. All the dots. I uh, should take a break. It must be a little strange to take it to just stand in place like this. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Rowan, what's the matter? Uh, to just now, I think I saw a red flash come from the soot in his mask. <laughs> what? Here? I see nothing out of the ordinary. Hey, uh, what? That's odd. There was a strange light around his eyes just a second ago. Rowan, you must be tired from a long trip. Rest a while. Uh, maybe you're right. I guess my eyes are playing tricks on me. Alright, so I guess we gotta stay here the night. Spend night. Sweet dreams to you all. Irina, Sandra, little Ira, these people are simply struggling. That doesn't make them evil or anything. It's weird because there's no music here, which really emphasizes, like, the dread that's to come. Uh, if you're suffering, you can be blinded to the needs of others. There is no malicious scent. But something does smell awry. Just who do they think is bad anyway? I say these knights who run around and scare people are the real problem. I hope nothing terrible happens. Ah, uh, those cathedral knights are merciless. At this rate, the entire village will be burned to the ground. But something does smell awry. There is something strange in this village. I don't think Valmar can be defeated by anyone, not even those holy knights out there. Valmar possessed even me. Those knights might have killed all the villagers. And what would have happened to Miss Elena? There is no one with an evil smell here, but... We do have Elena with us. I can't imagine those overly holy knights will kill one of their own. What can we do? These villagers are suffering because of Valmar? Without a doubt. Uh, we do not know that for certain. Even now, they are trying to kill innocent people. Something does smell of eye, but I cannot confirm that it is related to the current situation. I think the best course is to actually get out of here before that Celine woman causes more trouble. First thing tomorrow would go. Eh. Don't think that's going to happen. What a pretty moon. Even if it is Valmar's moon, right? What's wrong, Elena? It's Valmar's moon. It's so eerie. What if it always stares down on us like that? You're used to getting worked about something you can't do anything about. Besides, we're pretty dang far enough away from it. I suppose, but... What are the presence of Valmar inside of me? Oh, millennia. Oh, the dots. Come on, lighten up. Millennia is not all that bad. Yudo, how can you be so cavalier about such things? We speak of the power of darkness itself. Who knows when Millennia will do something like Gaiden did, or worse. What if her purpose is to restore Valmar to life? Oh, again, we can't do anything about it, right now at least. But isn't this why we're going to the cathedral? Valmar prepares the dwelling place within the souls of the wicked. I'm sure that Millennia is the evil inside of me. She is a blackness of my soul. Hey, don't let it get you down. What happened to your happy face? Come on, we'll knock on all the doors of the cathedral. Zell will get off his porcelain throne and we'll make everything okay. Stop it, Vito. This is serious. Must you always be so flippant? I I was just trying to cheer you up. It blazes. Fine, fine. I get it. As expected, the wings of Valmar. It is difficult to visit injury upon Millennia. You, on the other hand. Ryu, Ryu do Look like you're not giving me a choice here. You can keep crying about Valmar this and Valmar that, or we can sell this now. You calm down yet? Hey, what's gotten into you? What happened to the almost stereotypical determination pluck that I know so well? What's wrong, Elena? All right, Ryu Kill me. If that will destroy Valmar. What? What's wrong, Rito? Do it quickly. I'm a little scared, so please, make it as painless as you are able. D don't be so stupid! That's Celine talking, not you! 
all the dots? My job is to get you to the cathedral. If you want any extras, hire someone else. Just stop your brooding and get to bed. All the dots. Wow, that was intense. Dang it. Not the right approach, Rudo. Not the right approach. What the heck is wrong with her? Ah, I guess I get a bit get to bed myself. Guess I got to get to bed myself. Yeah. Woo! Going on 45 minutes. Been reading a lot. Oh. Oh. Oh, great. Did we just get trapped in the dream world? Where am I? Whoa! Huh? What are you looking at? Stop staring at me! This is freaky. What happened to my cute little RPG? It suddenly became a horror movie. Oh, look at all the eyes. It's so weird. So creepy. <laughs> Don't! That is my soul, dang it! Stay the heck out of it! Whoa! Stop it! Please, just stop! Don't make me remember! Please! I want to forget! Let me forget! Our boy Ryudo has some trauma in his past, that's for sure. Ah, oh, dang it! Stop making me remember! All the exclamation marks. Rudo, what's wrong? You were moaning. Dang it, why do they keep haunting me? I was almost able to forget. Does it sound like a very sweet dream? I know, that was the dream I, they saw. Dream with all the eyes. Man, that's creepy. That's odd. Can't shake the feeling that I'm still being watched. Oh my god! It was that thing! The cause of the nightmares. If so, this village cursed. Dang it. Rowan, Merrick, you alright? Yeah, uh, yes, Ryoto. Are you okay? Grr, that cursed dream. What was its purpose? That's that thing! It's been causing these dang nightmares. Uh, what do you mean by that thing? Ryoto, what is happening? Elena, you alright? Listen, the source of that miss was right there. Eyeball. Big flipping eyeball. Just staring at us. I've never seen the like. That was a curse? Then the others? It cannot be. Miss Arena. Oh, blazes. Let's check on our hurry. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a pause here because we've been going on like 47 minutes. My name is Father's Brother. This is our uh, blind Let's Play of Grindia 2 HD Collection for the Switch. Thank you for everything, you guys. Uh, we're going to unwrap this story a bit more. Don't you worry. But until then, I love you guys so much, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.